Hello there everyone. This is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to Stray. Where we take our vengeance out on the door adorned by Cluey Metallique. Is that French? Uh, I think it's the IQE UE at the end. IQE? IQE UE. Makes me think French, but I don't know. Also, this picture of a cow, I just realised. <laughs> but um, we take our revenge on this door because I was going to go back um, before starting recording and just have a quick look around, make sure I didn't miss any vending machines or anything like that. But uh, Momo has shut the window we used to get in here. He trapped us. And cats do not accept this. This is why the door must pay for its crime against me. Yeah. Anyway, right, moving on. Um, last time we got all the diaries together, B12 showed them to Momo, Momo fixed his transceiver. I think those are the diaries on top there. Wait, no, that's one That's one book. I don't know. Stuff still in here? Yep, all this stuff is still in here, so okay. But we have a quest, which is to take the thingamajigger up to the um, place of significant importance and try not to get eaten by the Zerg. I, I, I keep forgetting what the uh, what they are, but yeah. <laughs> Zerg, Zerks, close enough. Small coin of the Zerks, we need you, little outsider. Bring us the sky. Okay. Um, I was... There was mention last time of an ultraviolet thingamajig. I'm using thingamajig a lot already, I was like. Hopefully, I'll get something I can use, but, um... Damn it, Momo. I felt sorry for you and you treat me like this. Ugh. Well, to be fair, he does need to keep the window closed, doesn't he? Okay, what's going on then? Um, uh, we are back outside the safe area, I'm guessing. It all looks red and ominous down there. And we need to proceed with great care. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we could use the bucket, but there is also some things over there. I, I can't go that way because of plants, can I? No. Oh well. Oh. Wait, no, that it, that's basic functionality I forgot, isn't it? Left click. Okay, right. Okay, we just have to use this um, bucket elevator. Don't worry, Loki. We'll be fine. Sort of. But at least I'm not going to get lost in this part, I think. Oops. Up. New area. Rooftops. And I see the Zerglings over there. Actually, should I call them Zerklings? Maybe? Truth be told, though. <laughs> Look at B12 watching me. I'm not overly worried about the fact I've um, been locked out of that hub area. Because I expect I'll get to go back. Because after all, I have to deliver the thing and then come back to them, so... I'll probably get um, a chance to sort myself out. Left out to attract enemies, okay. Yeah, take that little zerglings. You aren't Raptor Strain. <laughs> ha! If you were Raptor Strain, I'd be a lot more worried. Because Raptor Strain can leap up cliffs. You can't. <laughs> oh, well. That was a StarCraft 2 reference, everyone. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, we're back in the Zerg infected area. Okay. We need to go... I was hearing a lot of clicking just there. I don't like that. Ah, I think I need to see. I, I think I see what I need to do. Oh, 
What I need to do is not go down there. Oop. Miss me! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Gotta be aware they can they they actually can leap, they just can't leap very high. Hi. They look more a bit more like head crabs, don't they? Head crabs with a single glowing hate filled eye. But they can be lured off cliffs. Apparently. Gonna go that way? No. Kind of wonder what their purpose is, because a creature like that doesn't really appear by chance now, does it? So I feel like they were designed for something. Can I? Just about. Maybe some kind of um, recycling thing? Oh, memory. Hello. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Boo. But well, people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights on their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. Oh, the oppressors. Okay. It was a way for people to see colours again, like on the outside. I think it helped. I wasn't looking for a memory, but um, I was kind of looking around. Does that make sense? This, despite um, what we were saying last time about the um, the Omnicide demands that we must find all... Whoa! Uh, which way do I want to go? No, I, I can't make that, can I? I was not expecting it to move, though. Uh, the Omnicide may demand that I find the memories, but... As I said, my ability to find them is probably a bit questionable, so not going to be the best. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh wait, jump on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks kind of precarious. Yeah, Loki seems kind of glad there, but um, I was wondering if that thing would fall after we jumped off it. Apparently not. But if we get momentum, I'm guessing we can go back. Nothing there but security camera. Um, I'm guessing we need to move this. Again, I heard a rapid clicking. I'm wondering if that's the Zerglings running about. There we go. Boing. Gotta wonder why this stuff is just hanging over people's heads. Or it was, and now it's been there for so long, it's kind of decaying as well. Yep. So worn down. And also so overgrown as well. What were the... What were the Zerg made for? I hope we find out because I'm kind of I'm really curious. Oh, that doesn't look safe. That didn't sound safe. Okay, what's going to happen? Oh yes, of course. Hello. Hopefully I can trap you first. Can I jump across? I can. Right. That's how I'll do this. Okay. I need to hack, jump, bounce. And then they can't get at me. Haha! <laughs> okay. Because if I didn't do that, there wouldn't be time to move. I'm guessing I need that to go there. I do. Okay.
Oh, that, that gurgling growl was not very pleasant at all, was it? Okay, 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 okay. I still think comparing these guys to the Tyranid is far more apt, because the Tyranid have this kind of, like, biomass outgrowth effect. That the Zerg don't quite have. When the Zerg infest a place, sure, they do that, but uh, Tyranid, not so much. So, but they don't. you don't tend to see it that often, not like this stringy goop growing over everything. It's like a lot more solid and more obvious, off, usually with Zerg. To even know this um, takeover of other structures is quite evident. Okay, now we're to... not that way. I need to go down? It says I can go that way, but I think I need to go this way. Ah, ye old plank. And of course, a bucket. Bye. <laughs> oh, I wonder if... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. The... Beware my feline powers, I make the buckets take flight. <laughs> oh, this isn't pleasant. Oh dear. Very, very art artfully done. Oops. Hmm. Okay, there's two groups. And I'm not sure... I can't lure them. So I have to drop in and do something. Get off me, get off me. Oh. Okay, so trying to play it cautious, basically a whole lot of alerts, and they never lose boxes, and they can just like charge straight at me. So I need to do jumping to bypass that, I think. So much for a deathless run, eh? Then again, I, n I never claim to be doing a deathless run, so. Oops. I'm just trying to figure out where to go. I think it's over that way. Yes. Be gone! Okay, I'm safe here for the moment. Um, I need to get to there, there, there. I've not missed anything in there, have I? No, just this, these little buggers. Okay. Got it. Come on. gates. Okay. Why are they behind the gates? Oh, I need the barrel. I see. Right. I need to play chicken with them again. There is a memory over there, though. Neko Core. They're responsible for waste man. Are these the, are these the Zergling 
creators. Shasham, your levels overloading the sums. They tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. Yeah, definitely this guys. After humans disappeared, the bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than, than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. The scary thing is, I can totally see humans deciding to design something like this. And the problem with doing something organic is the moment you let it out, or the moment it escapes because um, accidents happen and that's just going to happen eventually anyway, and then it's beyond your control. I mean, that happens to like, bacteria and stuff all the damn time. Okay, so I need you guys out of there so I can do something with the barrel. Okay, if I get you over here... Oops. Then you're stuck here, aren't you? Good. I was kind of wondering about that. But if you guys are stuck there, then I can play with the barrel all I want. Haha. -ha. So I need to get up to that, I think. Yes, I think it's that. Oops. There we go. Haha. <laughs> more conveniently placed beams so that let's let's oh uh no time for the scenery buddy you need to get a move on oh jeez <laughs> luckily they make that little cheeping noise when they decide that they want to go and eat something But yeah, out of control waste disposal. No wonder they they attack um, all the robots and things. And there's nothing to keep it under control, so it's literally everywhere because it's it's a bacteria in origin. And it's just that the Zerks are mobile gathering platforms, I guess. Okay, what's this going to do? Let's have a quick look around before I trigger that because I don't know what that's going to happen. Oh, I'm guessing it's. Um, Summons something. Ooh, that looks inviting. I don't want to go down there. This stuff is everywhere. Makes me think of Scorn a bit, actually. Oh, that's unpleasant. Okay, how am I meant to... Is there anywhere I can hide? No, I just have to play chicken with them. Oh, there's more of them. Great. Oops. Okay, come on. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, this way. This way, hungry little beasties. Bye. No, no, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even hitting shift, I was hitting slash. No wonder I slowed down so much. <laughs> well, it does say in the intro, best played with the gamepad. I figured that would be easier to deal with with a, with a gamepad, but... Um, there was a thing, I'm guessing, yep, I had to jump on these and get into it. Okay. Can I get can I get back on there? Can I cheese it a little bit? Please? No, I can't jump back up there. Right. I see how it is. So I just have to put up with them. Come on then, little zerglings. Have at ye. Maybe maybe bro broodlings would be a better comparison. Oopsie -doosie. Bye. And sticky keys to language settings. Damn it. 
Uh, more kitty cats. Yep, yeah, okay. Just hanging out, it, it just switched to regional English setting mode for some reason, so I think that negated its inputs. Which was very handy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Shame we can't just hang out on top of the lever, that would be nice. <laughs> right, round three, buggers, bring it. On, bring around the Rosie. Follow the kitty cats. Oh dear. Yes, I can. Right. Whoop. Ha ha! Safety is mine. Just don't open the door, please. Good, thank you. Though I, I kind of wish they weren't coming up with me. Oh, good, yes, they're coming off. Right, good. So that's... Oh, dear. Yeah, this is very safe. Also, how the hell am I going to get back? I don't know. At least the rooftop's clear. So there is that, I guess. Okay, yeah, of course, the door's jammed. After that, I don't really trust safe looking areas that much. Forgive me. Okay, okay, um, there's a... Turn before we head back to the sums. Okay, so this will help us get back. I know, I just came here because paint cans. We must do... We must send these things on to their final destination. Bonk. Also making noise. Come on. Come on, pink gun. Come on, kitty. Work with me. I want to cause... mischief. Got to keep my hand in, after all. Right. Okay, let, let's put the thing in. Um... Right. There it is. That thing looks very vulnerable and probably going to get munched on by the waste disposal units. I think. Is wide open and yet there's still that roof over us so this is a massive enclosed space maybe that's part of the reason this engineered stuff was sent down here because it is kind of enclosed it's just running rampants then that begs the question why the heck are there slums down here and why do they need the people living in the slums huh. the social structure of the humans before the robots took over is questionable the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Oh. Oh dear. Shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights making a hermetic roof sealing off the city. Hermetic roof. That's sealed against biological contaminants. So... Something that needs an, a t an airtight seal. Something happened to the world above, didn't it? Protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. It was so bad they actually walled themselves in and decided to stay in. Removing access points as well to get outside. I'm really curious now. What, ha what happened? Outside was disaster, completely barren, unlivable, dangerous. Okay. If you if you came if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside; it was to open the city. Your promise? 
I understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on. Let's go back to find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. So something very unfortunate happened to the outside world to the point where they sealed themselves off down here. And this place was meant to sustain itself, but uh, just closed loop systems are very tricky things. And given the fact that they bioengineered waste disposal bacteria, I'm guessing it's some kind of plague or something that got loose. Or some bioweapon or something just got way out of hand. Oh well, let's go. Look at all this, though. It's What's left of the city is being eaten alive by all this. It's no wonder the humans are gone. The entire ecosystem's unstable down here. Slums, part two. Yep, back here again. Ah, the important thing. Yes. Momo? Transceiver's gone. Okay. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. You didn't you didn't wait for me, Momo? Really? Equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code opening is quite simple. It is... Simple. Huh? Good thing I have B12 with me. Be careful, it is case... <laughs> of course. Uh, of course it's case sensitive. Oh well, we must do the traditional thing. Ta-da! Okay, come on. Oh, I can't interact with it while I've got a bag on my head. That's a shame. <laughs> there we go, right. Ready, B12. Uh, B12 of mechanical life form is struggling to remember it. Seriously, Momo. <laughs> Oh, we got it right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so he's at the bar, right? Though I'm slightly concerned by the fact that I still need to find... What was it? Yeah, and, and there's memories around here somewhere. But I don't know where, and I'm not sure where to go. The question is, do you guys have... Have you guys got more to say with me now? No. Okay, so... Same dialogue, it seems. And also, I can't knock over the sack of paint cans, which is unfortunate. But we had to try. Right. Bar? Bar, 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 bar. Whoop. Whoop. Bar? Down. Bar? Down. Can I go lower? I can. Whee! Off we go. Hey, little furball. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you, Mo. Managed to get a signal. Excellent. Oops. Careful, Momo. What's that? What's that? What's that? Is that, a, is that a read signs? Yes, it is a read signs. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Pet me. Yes. Let's see if I can get this working. Almost got it. Okay, come on. I mean, that looked like an eye. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... 
Uh, Zbalza? Oh, it's one of those. It's one of his friends. Momo? And then some. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zaltza. Zaltza. Yeah, I'm calling him Zaltza. Uh, where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. So, the signal's a bit spotty, but it's coming through. Hello? Do you still hear me? Go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Uh, darn it, we lost the signal. Hey, at least you got some signal. Can't believe this. Zeltzer is alive. He and the others outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? Make, makes sense. The sewer systems would be connected. Sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zeltzer made it, there must be a way. Never get past the sewers, it's infested with the Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Yeah, I noticed they have that effect on me. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Oh. Hopefully I can talk to him a bit, maybe find out a little bit more. Hmm. Samus. No, that's not Samus, it's Seamus, isn't it? I mean, Samus is Metroid. It's Father Doc. Oh. He used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Uh, we just had word that Doc's okay. Don't listen to Samus. He's just scared if... Like I was, if Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. Must be where he was working on it. Might be a clue in Samus' department. Come on, follow me. Um, so... They have father... Fathers, they have a method of... Uh, familial development. So it's like, maybe... Assemble and stuff like that? Jacob, employee of the month. I think Jacob might be the only employee. Uh, though that said, the Zaza did say um, that uh, if the others are with Zaza, then Doc would be there as well, because Doc was one of the outsiders. Oh, he's still clean. The paint we spilled. <laughs> Oh. Part of me feels bad. Part of me is satisfied that I did that. <laughs> and I was just looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Alright, anyway. Uh, oops. Yep. Any sheet music? Okay. Come on, Samus, open the door. I'm going back to Samus again, aren't I? You know your father would have wanted to help us. Am I going to have to break in? Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. Does it involve breaking and entering? It does. Of course. Takes Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay, so I've got that back. Lots of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. Okay, Mama. So he's given me a little access that I can get through, but he's too big. Um, part of me wonders, like, if you're in a robotic shell like this, a robotic chassis, um, especially if you like doing maintenance things, wouldn't having a small remote unit 
that you can send out and control over a distance to go through for detailed and um, cramped areas be a good idea if you are in a body like this I think that would be a very useful thing to have but um, 30 se 33 seconds since we last saved we are past the target time so I'm sorry Momo I'm going to have to break in and enter for you another time so yeah I'll just um, sit here and stare at you yes I'm judging you Momo yes all fear the kitty cats <laughs> and with that it's time to end it. So, um, this has been Iron Mark III. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys um, are liking the show. And feel free, feel, blah, 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 blah. feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out me, helps out the channel. I'm going to keep on nicking what Lathwick says because it's very apt. But I'm making no... I'm not going to hide that I'm nicking it. Because it, 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 it fits. Yeah. <laughs> and see you all later. <laughs>